Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on Forgotten Weapons. I'm Ian McCollum, and High Point, of all companies, unveiled a really cool new product at the NRA annual meeting this year. Their new carbine in 7.65 French long. Would you believe that? Like, I'm frankly kind of shocked that they went and actually made a carbine in that caliber, of all calibers, but they were awesome enough to send one to me, so we're going to go ahead and give it a try. I've got, uh, I think, eight rounds of Steinel 765 French Long in there. That's pretty sweet. I only have one other long gun in 765 French, and it's a Moss. 38, which is actually a pretty short long gun, submachine gun actually. So it's pretty cool to have one in plain semi-auto and super affordable. Come on. Oh, so close. I ran out of ammo before I could get the spinner, but that would have totally done it if I had another loaded magazine on me. But they only sent two with the gun. Let's go reload them. All right, well, thanks to Steinel for my 30 French long. And reload this guy. These mags are a little sketchy to reload. They get pretty stiff after a couple of rounds. Oh. Oh crap, I didn't realize that. Look at that. It's like it's actually supposed to be 30 super carry. Huh. I guess, I guess if I try and think about it honestly, that probably does make a lot more sense. Um, all right, well, I guess we should try it in that instead. I do, let's see. Yes, I do have a box of 30 super carry. All right. Let's see if it runs in that cartridge as well. All right, so 30 Super Carry, which is what they actually chambered this thing for, is essentially geometrically almost identical to 7.65 French. It's a millimeter longer of a case, which means you can't put, seven, uh, can't put 30 into a 7.65 French pistol, for example, which is important because 30 Super Carry is a substantially higher pressure round than the original French pistol cartridge. So you don't want to run this in like a 1935 pistol. I'm not going to go try one, but it wouldn't be healthy for the pistol. Um, however, what that means is you can run the French cartridge in 30 Super Carry, kind of like you can run 38 Special in the 357, which is pretty cool. Uh, not quite like that because head spacing on the rim versus shoulder, but we're going to ignore that for the moment. Now, because 30 is a higher pressure, uh, higher energy cartridge, I should be able to run that spinner in one magazine where I was not quite able to do it with nine rounds of French long. Um, my 7.65 French was 110 grain bullets at 1,020 feet per second, plus whatever extra they get from a carbine barrel. The 30 Super Carry, if I remember correctly, is 100 grain at 1,200 or 1,250 feet per second, so a substantially higher velocity. Yeah, well, maybe it doesn't get that much more from a carbine barrel. Come on, that close enough. It's a fun little carbine, I'll be totally honest. Not entirely sure what High Point's real motivation was in uh, releasing 30 Super Carry as their next cartridge, but be kind of fun in a pistol. Uh, ironically, they stuck with 10 round magazines, presumably for you know the, the various markets where they're limited to 10 rounds, when one of, if not the primary, in fact, the primary advantage of 30 Super Carry is having about 20% more magazine capacity than a nine millimeter. But for these guys, you still only get 10 rounds. Anyway, uh, when I heard that High Point was coming out with a 7.65 French long cartridge uh, carbine, 
I could not help but make sure that I got one to have some fun with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Thanks for watching.